Hi everybody, welcome back to the Little Games. Swish and Flick here, bringing you three more spotlights for Don't Starve. So the first one I'm going to show you is too many items, and this is extremely useful if you want to cheat a little bit and don't starve, or if you want to show off a certain mod, and you want to quickly get a crop pot and a science machine here, cough cough, then it's really useful for that. So all you need to do is press the T button, and then a list of all the games items will come up. So the six pages. This mod is outdated, but it's the only one of its kind. Um, I don't think it's Rainer Giants compatible. It is. It does work really well for the original game though. So what you can do is spawn in any item you want. So if you want a live butterfly, you can just go like that and have a live butterfly. Um, like the animals in the game, they won't stay by you, so if you spawned a bee in, it would quickly move away unless you caught it with a bug net, which you can also spawn in. Um, one thing you can do is, say if you were starving in a game, you've been playing for quite a long time, and you thought, I, I honestly really don't want this to end here, then you can just quickly go, bottom off in, pick it up. No. So this all works um, for items in the game, but don't work for things that are structures. So things like the science machine and the crock pot, because they don't fit in your inventory and they don't like, lie on the floor. You can't spawn them in. So you'd have to get the cut stone logs, everything like that, and make it on the tabs on here. So that's how I got the crock pot over there. Um, another thing I showed you, you may have seen it down here when I ate that butter muffin, is another mod that I'm going to show you. And it basically displays food values. So if I got some carrots, oh, that's a live butterfly, butterfly wings and a butter muffin. Come on and then you can hover over them and it'll tell you the stats. So carrots restore 12.5 hunger and 1 health. Butter muffins 37.5 hunger, 20 health, 5 sanity. And butterfly wings 9.4 hunger and 8 health. So this is really useful if you're prioritising food. Say if you only have a tiny little bit of hunger, you might want to eat that rather than something that restores, say, 30 hunger. Now, the last mod I want to show you is the Crockpot mod. I will put an annotation here, the name of it, I can't remember it. Scatterbrain. But if you only had, say... Well, I've already got carrots there, but if, I, if you had three carrots and a berry and that was it and then you had a crock pot and you thought hmm what should I do then you could put that in there there's carrots in there and as you can see there's a predict button so you can click on that and it'll tell you ratatouille and with the food values mod it'll say how much it is so if you go like that and then say if you had some, go to the very last page, if you had two twigs as well, and you thought, hmm, I'm not sure, but what if I tried berries, carrots, and two twigs, what would that make? Instead of cooking it and wasting that precious food, Press the predict button and you see that wet goop, so that restores nothing at all. It's a complete waste. So this is extremely useful. It started to rain just as the video ends. Good timing. Thank you game for not doing it in the middle of the video. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!